The potatoes used in these versatile rolls ensure a super soft crumb and moist texture, while also contributing to a quicker rise and longer shelf life than wheat-only breads. Place the potatoes in a medium saucepan and add water just to cover. Bring the water to a boil over high heat. Reduce the heat to medium-low and simmer until the potatoes are cooked through, 8 to 10 minutes. Transfer 5 tablespoons of potato water to a bowl to cool. Drain the potatoes. Return the potatoes to the saucepan and place over low heat. Cook, shaking the pot occasionally until any surface moisture has evaporated, about one minute. Remove from heat. Process the potatoes through a ricer or food mill, or mash them well with a potato masher. Measure one very firmly packed cup of potatoes and transfer it to a bowl. Reserve any remaining potatoes for another use. Stir in the butter until melted. Combine the flour, yeast, sugar, and salt in the bowl of a stand mixer. Add the warm potato mixture to the flour mixture and mix them with your hands until combined. Some large lumps are okay. Add one egg and the reserved potato water. Mix with a dough hook on low speed until the dough is soft and slightly sticky, 8 to 10 minutes. Shape the dough into a ball and place it in a lightly greased container. Cover it tightly with plastic wrap and allow the dough to rise at room temperature until almost doubled in volume, 30 to 40 minutes. Turn out the dough onto a counter, dusting it with flour only if the dough is too sticky to handle comfortably. Pat it gently into an 8 inch square of even thickness. Using a bench knife or a chef's knife, cut the dough into 9 pieces, 3 rows by 3 rows. Separate the pieces and cover them loosely with plastic. Working with one piece of dough at a time and keeping the remaining pieces covered, form the dough pieces into smooth, taut rounds. To round, set a piece of dough on an unfloured work surface. Loosely cup one hand around the dough and, without applying pressure to the dough, move your hand in small, circular motions. The tackiness of the dough against the work surface and the circular motion should work the dough into a smooth, even ball. If the dough sticks to your hands, lightly dust your fingers with flour. Cover the rounds with plastic and allow them to rest for 15 minutes. Line two rimmed baking sheets with parchment paper. On a lightly floured surface, firmly press each dough round into a three and a half inch disc of even thickness, expelling any large pockets of air. Arrange them on the prepared baking sheets. Loosely cover with plastic and let the dough rise at room temperature until almost doubled in size, 30 to 40 minutes. Brush the rolls gently with egg wash and sprinkle them with sesame seeds if desired. Bake the rolls on the middle and upper middle racks of a preheated 425 degree oven, rotating and switching the baking sheets halfway through baking until the rolls are deep golden brown, 15 to 18 minutes. Transfer the baking sheets to wire racks and let them cool for 5 minutes. Transfer the rolls from the baking sheets to the wire racks. Serve them warm or at room temperature.